Hi everybody, it's Crafty Jackie. And <clears throat> I just wanted to give you an update on Rocky. Um, there have been so many of you praying for him. I, I can't even tell you how much it means to me. Um, I was worried about the surgery and um, I was asking everybody to pray for him. And it was a good thing because um, he did have the surgery. And uh, I haven't been there since then. I'm going to get over there in the next day or two. But um, I didn't know, you know, with him being in ICU, if my nieces and nephews, I'm sorry, I'm <coughs> haven't been the greatest about uh, the, asking questions or anything. They don't really know. They don't understand the situation, I don't think. But, um, so my niece told me that everything had went well and that he'd gotten up and this, that, and the other. Well, I talked to him yesterday and he's telling me that, uh, the night of the surgery he had a heart attack, a mild heart attack, and, uh, of course being in the hospital they were checking on him and everything, so they got everything under control right away, but, um... And he seems almost oblivious to some of the stuff because my daughter talk, talked to him for almost an hour yesterday on the phone. And he said that um, he figured as soon as he got out of there, he'd be home, he'd be up and about, driving around, doing stuff. And um, my daughter goes, no, you won't be able to drive for like two weeks. So after much talking with him and explaining stuff to him, she goes, Rocky, they are going to go in there with a cracker and crack your chest open. And he had no idea because he will be having his, um, kind of got ahead of myself here. Uh, he found out that he will be having, yesterday he found out that he'll be having his open heart surgery on Monday. He had some complications with a, uh, something with his blood count was off and, um, so they had to get that corrected before they could do the surgery. So she's telling them, you know, you, you got you got to have to have people to be there with you, somebody to change your, you're going to have a, a bandage on the wound and everything. And uh, Ron and I live like 30 minutes away from him, at least, maybe a little bit longer. And I, I told my daughter Becky, I says, well, we could, Ron and I could possibly stay with him because Ron would be closer to work then. But um, anyway, so Becky talked him into going like to a rehab place. So he's going to talk to his nurse. He was going to talk to his nurse that evening. So I'm going to call him today and see what he has decided. I haven't called him yet. Um, I've been really having a hard time waking up. I keep taking melatonin. Because they're on snoring, and man, I'm having a heck of a time waking up in the morning. I didn't get going till like eleven o'clock today, and it's jeez, it's about one thirty now, so and I haven't really got much done. I made a necklace, and that's it. So anyway, that is my um info about Rocky. He is uh he's down in the dumps because he's there, but he seems to be doing well. Um. He's on blood thinners and stuff like that. There's no apparent damage. You know, he didn't have any, like, seizures or brain damage or anything like that. So I would ask that you would continue to pray for him uh, because he needs all the prayers he can get, not only for his condition, but for him to understand the severity of his condition and that he needs to listen to the doctors, and take care of himself. Because without him, there's a lot of people in the family, his family, that will really suffer too because he takes care of everybody. He's a wonderful man, and uh, I love him very much. So thanks, guys. I love you all so much, and um, I can't even tell you how much it means to me that you are praying for him and thinking of him. So, um. I will give you an update on Monday, or unless something happens before then. Um, actually, it'll probably be more like Tuesday, because 
I know the surgery will be many hours. So um, I will let you know what happens. So thank you guys. Love you very much. Bye.